Hello everyone, this is Tim Davidson, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to create a cobble path texture, like this one right here. I won't show you the grass in this video, but I will make another video on how to create this grass effect later. Okay, so, first off, go File New, and make a new document with 500 pixels for width and 500 pixels for height, click OK. And we want to remove this lock from the first layer, so we double click it and press OK. Next we go, oh, next we make sure our colors are set to two different gray path colors, depending on what color path you like. I chose them two colors because I think they work pretty well. So, something like that. Okay, then you go filter, render, and fibers. Set the variance to 64 and the strength to 1. And press OK. This will be our starting point for our path, the main background. Looks pretty good. And then we make a new layer. So down here, new layer. Take the brush tool, choose a hard brush of about 30 pixels, no, I've got 20 pixels, and choose a nice dark colour for your brush. Next up, we just draw a bunch of dots all over the place. This looks really crap at the moment, but fair not. It'll look better later. I'll fast forward this bit so you don't have to watch me doing this forever. Okay, now all of your dots are done, we go to blending options and we want to add a drop shadow. Uh, the angle needs to be about minus 25. Uh, the opacity can be 75%. Use global light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the settings the same as that. Then we add a bevel. By clicking here. And again, play around with the angle until you find a position. That looks good. Um, I'm going to go with that one. Okay, then go color overlay, press the little color picture, and take a look through the gray colors until you find something good for your rocks. That'll do. Then OK, OK. Press this little arrow to get rid of this drop down effects thing. And we want to duplicate layer 0. So right click, duplicate layer. OK. And then drag this layer above so it's on the top. And go filter, texture. I can't pronounce that, whatever that says. Then put crack spacing on 27, crack depth on 6, and crack brightness on 8, and press OK. Next, we change the opacity of the layer to 50%. And there we go, that's our gravelly path texture. If you don't, if you want a nice flat path, like concrete I suppose, you could untick the middle layer to get rid of the rocks. But if you want a, a rougher path with like more depth, you can always tick it. Or even drag it to the top layer. Additionally, you can choose the brush tool and change the size of the brush to 15 and add a bit more detail, a few more pebbles everywhere if you don't like the look of it and you want to add more rocks. Again, you can always change the brush size 
we'll keep going with this. Put some bigger rocks like this. Yep. Once you're happy with the texture, select all of your layers by left clicking the top one, shift clicking the bottom one, and then right click. And you can either go merge layers, merge visible or flatten image. They all do the same thing if they're all selected. Ah, oh, it's locked again, so double click. Okay, so get rid of that lock. Then choose your eraser tool, which is down here. And get a hard brush of 50, about 30, 30 pixels. Put the opacity on 100. And starting at the top left. Just brush down. Doesn't matter if this is jagged. And delete the out the edge of the path. And then the same again on this side. Just like that. Okay. Now we select that layer zero and add a layer mask by pressing that button down there. Then with the layer mask selected, we go to the brush tool again and we choose a nice scattery brush like this. Or that one. Increase the brush size. That'll do. And then on the mask layer we simply brush around the edges like this to help blend in the path and make it look like there's a few pebbles around the edges to smoothen out to blend it in we do this on both sides And there we go. The only remaining stage is to make this path tileable so that you can repeat the texture and it will uh, smoothly connect up on the top and the bottom. So to do this we go filter, other, offset and we increase the vertical offset by 200 or so. Wrap around selected, and actually, mine looks okay. Mine looks like it'll tile already somehow. But if yours doesn't look like it'll tile, you can take the stamp tool by pressing S or clicking there. If it doesn't tile, what you'll basically have is a white line going across. So I'll just draw one to just, just to demonstrate, just in case you have. Oh shit. Uh, like this. Yep. Hold on, was I talent? Oh. So. 50. Yeah, that's weird. Mm. Okay, well, sometimes you will have a white line like this. To get rid of it, take the stamp tool, hold down the Alt key, and click somewhere above the line then move your brush down to the gap and left click and fill it in like this by holding down the left click and cloning that above texture over the gap there we go and that's your cobble path complete if you want to save it so that, it's, that you keep the transparency and the path remains see through on the edges all you need to do is when you go save as, make sure you set the file type to PNG, give it a name, save it, and you're done. So thanks for watching, feel free to leave any comments or questions below the video, and I'll see you next time.